Hey guys, I Heart Movies here, and welcome back to Final Fantasy IV Advanced Solosky so Run. In our last episode, we began our trek through the Lunar Subterrain, got some equipment for Cecil, some crystal equipment, and dragon equipment for him, and we're going to continue our way through the Lunar Subterrain today, so let's go! Yeah, I picked up some new equipment also, oh, I actually already mentioned that. Um, yeah, we picked up the yeah, dragon equipment first thing, actually, then now i crystal equipment, so just equipping that along the way. Um, let's see, in this chest down to the bottom left there, it's an, um, it's a white robe for Rosa. Uh, I won't be getting that. Just it's, it's good for her, but not for Cecil, so I won't be getting that at all. So don't worry about it. Anyway, new enemy here, Little Murderer. Um, actually, very, very easy. All he does is he, stand on, it's, it's, he uh, stands, stands himself over and over and over again. Um, it says he's one or more to lightning, but don't use it, because he will counterattack and go crazy and kill you. So just don't use lightning on him at, on him at all. So get yeah, physical attacks. Only takes four or five, and then we're fine. So there you go. <coughs> so, yeah, very, very easy enemy around here, and boom, simple as that. 20,000 experience points like nothing. So anyway, another battle. Oh, di uh, that was new enemy, Dino Zombie. Um, he's undead, by the way, so very, very weak, so don't worry about that. Um, anyway, from here, let's go grab this chest over here to the left first. Yeah, this contains more monsters! We have Dino Zombie and Dark Sage. These guys are yeah, pretty easy. Dark Sage, you found them before. Um, Dino Zombie is undead again, so... Yeah, very, very easy. Yep, yeah, 6,000 damage right there, e easily enough. So, double attacks there, and boom, dead. Yeah, he only has how much HP? Only 12,000, and oh, crap. Did not see that coming. Cecil, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Oh, oh, my god, I got extremely lucky right there. Extremely lucky, like, ugh. Extremely lucky right there. I need to slow down. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry for that, guys. Anyway. Okay, we did the Crystal Helm for Cecil. Yes, let's go ahead and equip that real quick. Yeah, I just need to slow down. That's always been a problem with me, that I need to fix, but I just can't. I, I don't know. Anyway, go ahead and equip that. And we're pretty much done with equipment, actually. We just need this best weapon, and then we're done. So let me go ahead and heal up. Actually, I'll just use my MP for Kira. Why not? Because I'll help save on high potions, so... Yeah, just spam this real quick. Yay for white magic. Wouldn't it be awesome to use white magic in real life? Like, seriously, be able to use, like, curing spells if you have an injury or whatever, or use life, or full life, or whatever, or a suit to heal if you're sick or whatever. Wouldn't that be awesome? I, I would think it would. But, um, sadly, we don't have magic. Yet. If we did, that'd be fantastic, but we don't, so, oh well. Anyway, Armin, Armin, whatever, oh, he uses Doom, um, so, yeah, don't bother with him. He only has, um, actually, no, he has 25,000 HP, which is a lot, so don't bother with him. He's vulnerable to a projectiles, by the way, so, yeah, that kind of helps there. Um, anyway, actually, um, anything up here, uh, um, let me do the top right, I don't think. Oh, this room right here, this is very, very important. Notice this shape. Kind of looks like a P, doesn't it? Now, yeah, in this room, we can meet up with a very, very rare enemy called the Flan Princess, or Paint Puff, another version of the game. Now, normally, it's a pretty rare encounter, although if you have sirens, um, you can call the rarest encounter in a room, and in this case, would be the Flan Princesses. And also, with just Cecil, they're really, really hard, actually, because if you remember from my LP of Final Fantasy IV, um, <clears throat> there's always five of them, and then um, all you do, they dance, and they sing, they play music, and all that, and then it berserks you. So, um, you pretty much go all out, all out attack, and uh, you can't, can't heal at all, actually. So, you pretty much have to ensure that you're powerful enough to survive. Because all they do is attack you, and they're actually pretty strong, actually. So, um, if I them right now, might not be a good idea. I'll probably wait until later. But um, I might do a bonus episode fighting them, or whatever. We'll see what happens. But, um, yeah, I'll probably do a test video first, and actually, to make sure I can actually kill them. Well, I'm not a test video, but I mean a test run of them off camera, I mean. So. Yeah, don't worry about that for right now, but I'll be back there later on, so there you go. Anyway, couple chests over here, what do we have? Let me look around here, um... See, Armor's Arrows to the left, Fuma Shuriken to the right, don't bother with them. I do want to bother with throwing down these stairs over here. And this chest contains... uh, what? It has a cottage, so I'm not gonna worry about that. And way down through here, through Secret Passage! Yeah, this kind of tricked me up a little bit before I didn't know where it was at first, so... <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyway, down here we have a chest over here with a golden apple. Yay! Definitely uh, get that and give it to Cecil immediately. So let's see here, yeah, 100 HP bonus. So yeah, definitely, definitely get that and give it to him. And then I'll go ahead and heal up Rupert as well. Gotta be at full HP just because I have to. 
Better safe than dead, as I always say. Anyway, yeah, with that, let's make our way into a random battle. Uh, of course. Oh, God, no. No, 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 no. There you go. Good. Alright, and now let's go into this teleporter. And make our way up these very, very long stairs. So this chest right here, what does this chest have? I actually don't remember. Um, trying to look and see. Um... Uh, let's see, this chest has another protector in actually, though I think it has a behemoth in it. So if you, if you want to fight it, go ahead, but I already have a protector in, so I'm not going to bother. Let's see here, another blue dragon? Nope. Speaking of which, was that game any good, blue dragon? I heard it actually, it was pretty damn good, from what I remember. Although, oh well, doesn't really matter. Anyway, save point right here. So yeah, definitely heal with a high potion first thing. And definitely save here too, by the way. So yeah, you'll be glad you did, so... There you go, level 95. And then let's go down over here. Nazi, before we go, um, if you have any lunar curtains or anything, move them to the very top. I happen to have one, so I'm going to move them to the very, very top. See, yeah, I probably will end up using it here, so. Anyway, we have this. The mighty sword Ragnarok. And of course, it's a load-bearing sword. Why not? Those damned by Zima shall never bear this sword! And this is Dark Bahamut. He always starts out with Mega Flare. At this point, it shouldn't be that powerful. Yeah, that's actually kind of weak, really. And then, yeah, once he does that, he's actually fairly straightforward. Um, he's not really that powerful. He only has, um... Actually, uh, he has a 60,000 HP. Yeah, 60,000 HP, I mean, so... Yeah, uh, pretty much he's not that hard. Just bounces off reflects uh, flare spells off himself, but um, shouldn't really be that powerful. Yeah, that's not really a whole lot there. And sometimes it just fizzles out like that. I'm not really sure why, but there you go. And, okay, that's a hit this time. Oh, no. Yeah, his defense is very, very low, so physical attacks do a lot of damage here. And then, yeah, just, just go all out, really. Um, shouldn't need to heal, although if you do, use an elixir. And then you should be fine. And, yeah, that's fizzles. <laughs> I find that very funny that it just fizzles like that. Yeah, sometimes it, sometimes it fizzles, sometimes it doesn't. Doesn't make any sense, but oh well. Oh, no, 500 HP. Oh, no. Maybe this will deal more. Maybe it's 600? Oh my god, 455. You are weak. You are W-E-E-K. Yeah, I misspelled it on purpose. I know. I know what I said. Yeah, this is pretty much all he does, really. So, just keep wailing on him and he'll die. Uh, keep, yeah, keep wailing on him and he'll die. Ow, oh, that kind of hurt, actually. Um, actually, let me do this next question real quick. Okay, yeah, did not know to be that powerful. Okay, he must have heard me insult his flare spells. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, there, there. We should be okay for right now. And you can... What? You can heal yourself? Dude, that is not cool. That's not cool at all. Why would you do that? Okay, then, you see, yeah, watch out for that, but, um... It shouldn't really be a huge deal. Um... Yeah, I had no idea to do that, but, um... Ow, okay, yeah, Elixir, time, please, now, Elixir. Yes, hurry, there you go. <sighs> okay, then, that was a little troublesome there. Yeah, this is actually, this battle, all in all, is not that hard. I'm, I'm just making it look a lot harder. So, <laughs> there you go. Um, yeah, should be dead pretty soon, though. You're doing a lot of H, you're doing a ton of damage. You're over 4,000 per slash, so. Yeah, you just keep using Flare, so that's fine with me. Knock yourself out. Please, like, literally, knock yourself out. That'll help out. That'll help me out quite a bit here. Okay, can you please die now? I've already dealt, like, a crap ton of HP to you. Uh, nope, not dead yet. Big meanie. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Are you dead yet now? No, my god. I'd use Scan here if I really wanted to, but he's dead, so it doesn't matter. Yay, a lot of experience points, and it gained a level! Yay! Didn't see that coming, but oh well. And for that, um... There we go. Okay, sorry for the long pause there. I'm not really sure why that was. But anyway, we did the Almighty Ragnarok. Pretty much our second best sword in the game for Cecil. So yeah, definitely equip this. It is very, very powerful. Tap boost from 208 to 248. So, yeah, that's pretty damn good, I would say. Yeah, it raises all your stats. Well, not Maybe not all of them, but raises your stats by quite a bit. Raises spirit by, like, what, 15 points, whatever that was. So, yeah. So yeah, now we'll be able to deal massive damage to pretty much any enemy we see, and undead monsters will die in like two hits, or like one or two hits. So, there you go. Oh, sorry for that uh, crap that was, whatever, whatever, don't worry about it. 
Um, so anyway, doing the heal up real quick. I'll go ahead and save as well. There we go. Level 96 already. Wow. Right then, let's continue on. You know, backtrack a little bit here, but it's, it's not that far, so don't worry about it. Armin, yeah, don't want to fight you. You're very, very mean. So yeah. So bye. Okay, run. Thank you. And yeah, now that we're done with that, let's just go ahead and uh, yeah, let's make our way back to um, some more progress and more random battles. Two Armin's. Oh god. Run, 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 run. Okay, you can use haste too. I did not know that. Hey, who? Oh my god. Game, stop it. Stop with the random battles. It's not nice. There you go. Can I, can I please have a little break without random battles? I. No, I can't. Ah, the game does not like me today for whatever reason. Don't really know why, but it just doesn't. Okay then. Anyway, let's make our way back up here. Yeah, pretty straightforward from here, really. Um, chest down there. Yeah, that has a cottage. Don't worry about it. Um, so let's see. What else can I talk about for the meantime? Um, I don't really know. Well, actually, um, I've been playing a lot of Wild Arms 2 lately, actually. Um, well, by the time this is uploaded, I probably would have would have beaten the game by now. Um, as I'm as I'm saying this right now, um, I haven't been the game quite yet as of time of, of, of um, recording, I should say. Um, yeah, I'm still training for um, Angel Moas or yeah, Angel. Yeah, Angel Moas, A N G O L M O I S. Yeah, that guy. He's not fun, but um, I have I've never beaten him before, and I fully intend to on this, on this playthrough right now. So there you go. Um, anyway, in this chest, this contains I'm pretty sure it's a Minerva plate. Yeah, Minerva's plate. That's Viridia. It's crappy. Don't get it. Don't use it. So there you go. Okay, anyway, B7. Bingo. Yeah, bad joke. I know. I'm sorry. But anyway, yeah, Wild Arms 2. Yeah. I'd, Plan on beating that game very, very soon. I just need to beat down, need to beat down Angel Moas first, and then go from there. So, yay for that. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and sort this crap out real quick, and go ahead and heal up real quick as well. <coughs> okay, then let's, let's see, healed up, healed up there. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll use a couple others. Why not? Okay, there you go. That'll work. Okay, let me go ahead and save real quick as well. Um, uh, let me see here. Uh, before we, pr we progress any further, um, let me go outside. Let me go outside real quick. Um, there's two more rooms down here. Um, let me flip, let me flip my page here. Um, see, the middle room has the um, yeah, uh, middle room has the boss played that has the Holy Lance for Kane. I will not be fighting him. Um, the next boss over has the um, has two Luna swords in it. Yeah, Luna sword. L U N A S A U R. Um, yeah, those guys. The um. Ace have a chest with a ribbon inside of them, so if you want to fight them, um, go ahead. Although I really don't recommend doing that. Um, the crystal hand for Cecil's fine now, fine now anyway, so don't bother. So I'm actually um, before I go through the rest of the game, actually, because I'll be able to reach the end in the next episode probably. So um, there's nothing really worth getting. Um, well, actually, there's a chest down here later on with an elixir, so I will, I will be getting that. But um, yeah, for right now, just keep in mind. Um, uh, I'm trying to think here. Um, I do have some preparation for the next episode. Um, I will get to level 99. Um, I'll do that off camera. Um, I'll take all the money, buy some more elixirs on the way in the oh, back, back in the humming way home. So yeah, so that's, there's that. Um, I'll solve any excess equipment that I have, and I do have a decent amount actually. So let me take the gander here. Um, yeah, denji stuff, dragon stuff. I'll go and sell all that later on. So yeah, I want to try to get like maybe four or five elixirs actually. Hopefully more. I can I can buy. Two for right now, but on equipment, when I sell my equipment, I should be able to buy more. And then with the money I did around here, I should be able to buy a couple more after that. So, um, yeah, with that, guys, actually, let me just go back to the save point room real quick. So, yeah, with that, guys, I will meet you guys right back here, and I'll be on level 99 for next time on Thoth Faces 4 Advanced Soul Season Run. And actually, in the next episode, that should be the finale. So, hooray for the finale, finally. And this has been IR Movies on Enough, guys. Have a nice day, and thanks for watching.